What's going on everybody? Stock Jock here. Up $4,589 in the first hour of trading. Pretty nice day, not gonna lie. Finally, you know, had a decent day uh, in the morning. After kind of two rough starts, it's nice to have a morning that everything went well. Uh, finished the day up $5,211, so it got even better. Um, I was up quite a bit more than that. I would say, I think I hit high 60 i think i had i was up around 6900 dollars before making one last tesla trade that kind of went against me but a lot of good traders today a lot of good momentum in the market especially after yesterday's craziness with uh, the whole capital stuff glad to see the market kind of shrugged it off and there wasn't any kind of fear left in the market and things went from there so the, right before we get into the trades i just want to invite everybody if you're not aware i have a free chat room on twitch where i live stream all my trades all day long throughout the entire day uh, the link for that Twitch stream is down below, as well as a Discord channel, which I invite everyone to come into as well. It's a great for, uh, great place for beginning traders, as well as experience. But without further ado, let's get into the trades. So I, the first trade I had in the morning was actually Sun W, but I forgot to hit the record button, so that's not what I'm going to go over. It was just a quick little scalp, 150 buck winner. Uh, the next trade that I'm going to go over, this current is actually a swing trade. Uh, is Tesla. So Tesla kind of popped up out of the gates here, started to flag here on the one minute. And I was like, okay, uh, we, have a, we have a wedge here. Um, two points of contact on the top side. Uh, three points of contact on the bottom side. So I'm like, okay, whatever side breaks first, I'll go that direction. And Tesla decided to break here. And I went short. And I said, now whenever I enter a position on the one minute chart, if like for instance, if I'm short right here for this break, I, I absolutely stop loss on the first candle over candle. Same thing if I go long something and it doesn't work out, I absolute stop loss is the first candle under candle. In this case, it looked like it was going to break down. Uh, it did not. It became a bear trap and ended up running. And I stopped out on the first candle over candle after I got in. So it did not break down here. And a lot of times on these patterns, if you get the break that you're looking for, but it doesn't have any follow through, usually the reverse happens. And I believe I took this trade to the long side. Yeah, almost immediately after. So we started going through here. Uh, so, I, so I took the short and I lost about 80 cents on 20 contracts. So that's roughly uh, $1,600. Uh, but I was able to flip it around here and play it the other way. Got the breakout that I was looking for. I got long. Um, I went to 780 calls. At 1784, and I started selling on the way up. I sold half at 1888 for a dollar win. And I sold five more at 2116. Uh, this is all up and through here. 2116 for a almost three and a half dollar win. And the rest out at 2047. So I lost it here, but I gained, gained it back and more up through here. Right there. I'm at candle under candle. This does nothing. Could certainly reverse hard. Like if it's gonna go down, this is the this is the it's the absolute moment. If this does nothing, this is going to eight hundred. It is going up over 89.60. Because you just hit a one minute candle under candle fail. doesn't didn't do anything. Yep, I'm going to take it. There it goes. Big move would be. There we go. 91 break would be awesome.
Oh, don't want to see it, it give it right back. Come on. Still in half. Running this declining Bollinger Band here. I'm not a huge fan of that. Of course, Tesla says what Bollinger Band. High day is 93. Two is getting run. There we go. And 250 and then 93. There we go. A new high a day. Selling half. What I have left. I always count on Tesla for a play, man. Look at the spy. Look at the spy. It's just like, huh? We we go up. This is what we do. All right, let me get out the rest. Next trade here is on Kern. Kern was moving up this morning uh, along and yesterday, along with all the other pot plays. This is in the pot sector. Uh, it has to do with compliance for companies. So this one kind of had a flat top or a descending resistance line that had bumped its head on twice. Rising support, I figured if we break this line, it'd give it a decent pop, and it did. So as it was approaching this area, I start loading up. I took 4,000 shares of $5. There was also um, like a wall of, if I think, remember, like 50,000 shares. A lot of times when you see walls at these breakout spots, everybody kind of sits back and just watches it get chipped away, chipped away, chipped away, and then like it goes from 50 to 40,000 to 35, 30. And when you get to like in the 20,000, left of this wall it starts to go really quick because everybody's like oh it's about to go and then they jump in uh and then it creates a a break through that level with a, a pop behind it and that's kind of what happened here you'll see that uh i took four thousand shares get the pop through and i start selling on the other side of it 506 so 120 dollars, and then i got a nice fill at 517 um up in through here which not bad high day was 530 so Really good fill in that second lot. So $120 in the first lot and what is that? $340 on the second lot. So good trade overall. What level are we looking at here? About 503 Kern. Probably just this five is all it's gonna take. You start seeing chunks taken out of that wall, it's probably all it's gonna take. It's 20,000. I'll take some out too. Twenty-three, twenty-two. Bollinger Band's at five oh eight. There's the break. Five oh five. High day needs to go. There it is. There it is. Sell in half. Sell the rest. Ooh, look at that, Phil. 517? Hot dog. 
So this next trade is BIDU. BIDU is based in China, Baidu, and the, there was, this is a news play. As you can see, nothing's going on volume-wise, and all of a sudden, boom, huge spike in volume. Goes from 205 to 213. And all that was is news that they are looking to jump into the vehicle space, electric vehicle space. Um, and you know, they're a legit company, and they totally could if they wanted to. So kind of a big deal. A nice move up. Um, gave it all back at the end of the day. But uh, I was kind of slow to it, honestly. By the time I got in, it, it had moved quite a bit, and I took five calls. Uh, that's the only thing I thought or felt comfortable taking. And so here's the calls down here. Um, I took the 210 calls, got five of them, got in at 444, sold three of them at 750. And as it was coming back down through here, I sold the rest at 496. So very nice win. I did end up doing a second pop for some reason, but um, nice win. You know, with all these news plays, you don't know where they go. So you got to take your profit. This could have kept going into you know blue skies above or could just been old news and come crashing down so you never know you just got to take your profit be happy with it BIDU electric vehicle company what oh my I have five of these contracts. By you talk that they're planning to form a smart electric vehicle company. Oh my gosh. This could explode. I don't know. Tesla should drop on that, yeah. It'll be back, though. It'll be back. I mean, Tesla doesn't go down. It, that's confirmed. BIDU sitting at this high day, man. These options are wild on it. Feels like it's close to just exploding. <sighs> Watch the one minute here. Five ten fifty or two ten fifty. Here we go. There it is. Baidu daily candle or candles two thirteen thirty. Selling three of my calls. Locking in some of the profit. I only took five. Didn't realize my contracts were set at five down here. How do I feel about Boeing? Um, they should have an, a good end of 20. They should have a good 2021. BTBT -BT setting up. Yeah, I see what you're stepping in. That's a nice diagonal. It's a real nice diagonal break.
One, two, three points of contact. All right, I'm selling the rest of the Baidu before I go red on the rest. So this is another news play on BLIN. This was actually, I accidentally bought this one. This is just one where your finger is all on the mouse and it just twitches and buys. So um, with news plays, you kind of get, you know, after you hear the same stuff over and over again, the same company over again, uh, it tends to wear off the hypeness that it brings to it. BLIN is one of these companies that have been putting out these headlines almost daily. And it just kind of stops making the pops. Or if there is a pop, it immediately sells off. And then we did see that here. So luckily for me, I was able to get in and get out in, in the pop. But one minute later, give it all back and then some. So uh, very lucky on this trade. I made $100 uh, in and out within the same candle. And you know, just knowing that this is not going to become a runner just comes from experience hearing this ticker over and over again throughout the weeks and just knowing, okay, we've heard this kind of story before that it got a contract, the stock didn't react. It always sells off, it always does whatever. So until the stock reacts, you know it's gonna be a pop and a drop. Um, why I didn't? So with something, hang on, BLIN headline. Oh, I did not mean to buy it. That was kind of like a, BLIM puts these headlines on. It's good for a quick pop, but they don't usually hold. I didn't mean to buy that. Sell now. So th these next two trades are the last trades that I took, and they're kind of, I took one, heard some news, took another one, sold that one, or covered that one, it was actually short. And I came back to the initial, original trade and sold out of that. So this is a long clip, so feel free to fast forward. There's a lot of dead space in this one. But uh, in this one, someone in the chat room called it out, and, and I pulled it over, and I kind of liked it. A thing I did not like is it kind of had like a high uh, these levels where a high date was broken but sold off, came up to the L again, so it's kind of creating like an ascending triangle. It, it it didn't feel like this. It was the potential was there, but it was really like you know you've broken high day before, like you know here and it was a false break and it sold off and you're coming back to this level so maybe it goes the second time i don't know so i was willing to give it a shot i went long 782 uh right over here right as we're coming up to this level i was thinking okay maybe there's a diagonal here maybe if it just breaks these two and that's what sets it off Maybe the diagonal breaks, followed by the horizontal breaks, followed by high day breaks, and then it goes running. This is uh, grow generation. It's in, you know, it's like they sell lights and all the equipment you need to to grow and har harvest marijuana. Marijuana sector's hot right now, so it had potential. It just didn't go. I it finally did get the pop that I was wanting. I ended up selling. Um, for profit, I got in at 482 out, 4805 and 4784. So a, a decent profit, no doubt. Um, and you know, I'm glad I took the scalp because it ended up you know, being a dumpster fire afterwards. Uh, the other trade that you'll see in the same clip is MRI or yeah, MGNI. This one, uh, Spruce Point came out short on them, and Spruce Point recently has not been pushing these stocks down. So they were, they're good for a good scalp in the past, but they haven't really dropped a stock. Usually you'll see a, a, a pretty big drop followed by a bounce. And so I got in it for a short, took a thousand shares, 2806 right inside this candle. Um, and I covered inside this candle as well for a small profit, $190. Little did I know, the one that I just didn't hold on to was the one that turned into an absolute beast of a short. Five dollars after, after the fact. What can you do? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. It did rebound. Well, what a rebound, in fact. So maybe I'm not off that it can recover a little bit. Well, it's just a recover. Anyway, that's a five dollar drop. It is what it is. Those are the last two trades of the day. 
Again, if you have any questions, hit me up in Discord. Links for that are down below. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to look at any chart you send, any ticker you want me to look at, uh, any question you might have. There are no dumb questions. I'm here to help. I want to get people up into the 1%. That's the whole goal of this. Learn how to make life-changing money. Uh, anyone can do it. It takes time. It's hard. It's probably one of the hardest jobs you'll ever learn to do. It's also one of the most rewarding. <sighs> high risk, high reward. Um, so yeah, link for that is in the description down below as well as the Twitch channel. Link for that is down below as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. GRWG. Bro dog. <laughs> now I'm just going to say it on purpose. GRWG. Hey, all right. There's a couple levels here. It's a tough one because it's broken these highs and just kind of done nothing with it, but do like maybe a diagonal break followed by 4789. I want to look at the oscillators on it. It has to break that 89 though. One minute oscillators up, five minutes trying to curl. No volume. Come on. ACTY. There it is. Come on. Break that eighty nine. Tiny May starting to meet up with this price action. MGNI. Spruce Point is short. MGNI. Thirty percent downside. Spruce Point really doesn't move these shorts too often, so I'm gonna scalp that. Charms pumping NCTY again. All right, five minute play now. This is looking good for that 89 break, but it has to break. Stokes looks great for GRWG, but it has to go here. Eighty-eight, eighty-nine. There you go. Come on, tap the ninety. Oh, I did tap the ninety. Come on, come on, and then right to forty-eight. Not really a ripper, huh? There we go. There we go. Sell in half. Sell in there. Oh, bad fill in the rest. Not a bad loss on a $30 loss on the second half. Oop. No, what? No, I made money on it. 